Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I did something very exciting yesterday. It's actually something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I finally went into a, my local MAC store and I made my own eyeshadow palette. I wanted to do this for my full face of MAC that I did a little bit ago, but I just did not get around to going into the store. You can buy the eyeshadows online and make your own palette online, but I wanted to swatch everything and like make sure I picked the right shades. So I made myself a little quad in store yesterday and I'm getting ready for the day and I thought I would kind of play around with this and create a little, little daytime eye look with my new eyeshadow palette. So that's what we're doing today. I have absolutely no makeup on right now, so I am gonna put on a little bit of like face makeup on camera, I guess. And then uh, we'll do the eye look and I'll show you exactly what shades I picked out, why I picked them, we'll swatch everything. And yeah, this was just super fun. And I like being able to make my own palette because then I can really choose what shades that I'm actually going to use. I don't like when I get eyeshadow palettes and I only use like a few of the shades where I don't get to utilize the, the full palette. So this is something that I'll definitely use all the shades in there because I picked them myself. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, you can grab your makeup if you want to get ready with me and let's get into it. All right, so if you hadn't already noticed, we are uh, in a different location today. I actually brought my makeup table into my bedroom. I've got my clothing rack and I figured this might be a good little corner to film like chill, get ready with me videos. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to film these in the future. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting, but um, this is basically the best lighting that I have right now, even though my table is behind me. So that's kind of annoying, but I'll have to figure that out. Before today, that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully this works. Also, this shacket is actually Chris's. He bought this from Urban and I'm obsessed with it. So that's why I'm wearing it. I'm trying to get into the fall spirit. I'm not really in the fall spirit. I love summer. Um, and it's really hot here still, so it's kind of hard to like get into fall, but I'm trying to embrace fall and look like I love fall. So I thought I would throw this on today, but just, just know I'm sweating profusely under this thing. This thing is deceivingly warm. It's very, very warm. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to throw a little bit of makeup on. I've got my makeup bag back here and I'm just going to do like a really simple look. Um, for my base, I'm actually going to use the Tower 28 Sunny Days uh, SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I picked this up um, a few days ago from Sephora. I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. Finally got my hands on it and um, I'm testing it out. I will be doing a full face of Tower 28 coming soon. That might actually be my next video because I picked up one of their cream blushes. I picked up their multi liners, which I didn't even know these existed. So I like had to get my hands on these because I love a good multi-purpose pencil. I picked up the mascara, which I already did a reel on. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen that. And then I picked up their SOS serum, which I've also been using. So I'm just kind of testing this out right now so I can give you a good solid review on this. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of my rose ink concealer. Alright, I'm going to set my face with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Setting Powder. Alright, so for a little bit of bronzer, I'm going to take my MAC Give Me Sun. Just bronze up the skin. All right, and then I'm, I actually purchased another Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm. It's their cream blush. I actually used to have this shade, but when I moved, I decluttered all of these because they were just, they were old. And uh, I don't keep creams around. 
um, when they're way past their expiration date. So I picked this up at Credo this weekend for my Tower 28 video, and I really want to wear this today. It's like a really great fall color. This is the shade Power Hour. Ooh, let me see that. So I'm going to take it on my pearl bl uh, brush. Oh my gosh, such a pretty color for fall. Wow. Stunning. Oh, and it's really subtle. It's not like too intense. Love that. Okay, so now we can get on to the eyes, the fun part. And like I mentioned, I made a little eyeshadow quad at MAC. So basically how this works, uh, purchasing online or in store, um, you buy the empty palette. They have a bunch of different sizes. You don't have to do a quad. You can do a duo. You can do um, like one of their large palettes. You can do a palette that you can put blushes and bronzers or face powders in and eyeshadows. I mean, they have a bunch of palette variations. I just wanted something that I could keep in my everyday makeup bag that I could use on my eyes, my brows, and it's just like a quick and easy go-to palette for daytime, for nighttime, just kind of has everything. So you buy the palette and then you buy the singles and they come in these little cartons and you just pull them out, you stick them in the palette, it's all magnetic, super, super easy. So, getting into the quad that I created. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. I've already swatched and dug my fingers in here, um, so it's a little bit messy, but this is what the palette looks like, really clean. I like that they have the clear um, lid so that you can actually see what's in the palette. Let me try and clean mine up just a little bit. It's a little messy. So this is what she looks like. Again, I wanted something that was good for every day that I could use for a daytime, like a quick and easy daytime look or something a little bit more smoky for nighttime. So I went for rice paper, which is a really pretty um, kind of golden highlight shade. I figured this would be good for the inner corner, the brow bone, center of the lid. I could even use it as a face highlight if I wanted to. And then I went for woodwinked which is a gorgeous um, kind of taupey bronze, but it's actually really, really light. It's not too dark. I didn't want something too intense. I just wanted something that I could just kind of throw on the lid for a little bit of shimmer if I wanted. And then this shade right here is Espresso, just a great brown I could use for liner. I can use to smoke out any eye look. And then I also am gonna use this in my brows because it's cool enough to use in the brows, but it's not like, gray it's not too too cool so I can also use it as an eyeshadow and then of course the OG favorite which is which is carbon it's just a matte black and honestly all four of these shades are OG MAC shades they've been around for a really long time um, for a very good reason they're just really good shades so that's what my palette looks like okay so I'm gonna do my brows first before we get into the eyes. So I'm going to take MAC Brow Set, one of my favorite brow gels. All right, so I'm going to take the shade Espresso and I'm going to use that in my brows. This is the shade I normally use for my brows, so there's quite a bit of difference here. Um, Espresso from MAC is definitely more warm. This is the RMS Beauty Back to Brow in Dark. So I'm, ugh, I'm a little nervous this might be too warm for my brows. When I swatch it, it doesn't look quite so warm. See how it goes. So I'm going to take it on a MAC 266. This brush is way long discontinued, but it's one of my favorites from MAC. Hopefully I can use this shade in my brows because that's one of the main reasons I got it. Honestly, I could probably use carbon in my brows because my brow hairs are so dark. Or I could mix carbon and espresso. All right, I'm gonna leave the brows like this for now. I may go in and tweak them later, but I'm happy with how they look for now. I'm not gonna obsess over them. Okay, so let's go and get into the actual eyeshadow. Um, I'm probably just gonna do a very boring look just because I'm not really doing anything today. I'm gonna take my kids to their class later. Uh, they're actually home for fall break this week, so if you hear noises, that's them. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling at home today until I have to take them to the class. So I'm gonna go in with Woodwinked, which is this shade right here, on a fluffy brush. This is a BK Beauty 202. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this all over the lid 
and kind of work it through the crease. I like the shade because it has like a vintage kind of, like a vintage 70s kind of vibe to it on the eyes. I just really like the way that it looks on the eyes. It's not like just a regular bronze. It has this antiqued look to it, which I think is just so pretty. I'm gonna take this on my lower lash line as well. Zoom you in so you can see. Yeah, for my next video, I gotta figure out this filming situation because I do not like not having a table in front of me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of liner with Espresso. I'm actually gonna take that same angled brush that I used in my brows. I'm gonna do my liner a little bit more horizontal like I did, I don't know what video it was, but I was talking about how I'm trying to do my liner a little bit differently instead of going up, so far up, like towards the brow. Whoa, just made a mark on my face. I'm gonna take it more out this way and I did it in that video and I really like the way it looked so I'm gonna do that again today. There used to be this shade in the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette. I still have mine. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was like bath water or something. I can't remember but rice paper reminds me so much of that shade and that's why I picked it because I think I hit pan on that eyeshadow in that palette because I just used it so much. Um, and I wanted a shade really similar to that. All right, I think I'm gonna stop there and then I can tweak it after I do mascara. All right, so I'm gonna go in with rice paper, my little highlight shade, which honestly, I never do an inner corner highlight anymore, but I wanted the option. Just a little bit on the brow. And then if I ever wanted to just kind of throw something light and shimmery on the lid, I can use this too. Cause it's not, it's not like a shimmer shimmer. It's more like a sheen. There's no shimmer or glitter or anything. Like it just has this very subtle natural sheen to it, which is perfect. That's the kind of highlight that I like. All right, in the spirit of MAC, we're gonna use one of my favorites, MAC, MAC Stack Mascara. So I kind of wanted to save the Tower 28 liners for the Tower 28 video, but I really want to try one of these on the lips today. So I think I'm going to go in with, or I know I'm going to go in with the shade Work of Art. These can be used on the eyes, lips, or face. I've never tried these. Um, this will be my first time. So again, just be on the lookout for that video. Um, and I'll let you know what I think and if I actually think these are like a multi-purpose pencil. This is the exact same color as my lips. Like to a T. I love wood pencils. They're so underrated. No one ever makes wood, just good wood pencils. So I'm so happy that they went with a wood pencil. I love this. Oh my gosh, this color is so perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, MAC Luster Glass Lipstick in Hug Me. My current favorite nude lipstick. All right guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I am just so excited to have this in my makeup bag. This is gonna be a great go-to if I'm traveling, which I'm not really ever traveling, but if you know we decided to do a staycation because we love to do staycations, this would be a great, just little easy throw in the makeup bag, um, take it with me. Sometimes I get ready at the gym. If I have plans to go somewhere after the gym, this is a great, just something just nice, compact, small, has every shade I could ever want. So perfect, and I love that I can use espresso in my brows. So perfect. Honestly, I could probably use espresso for freckles as well. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Go over my freckles. Oh, it's working. I don't know how long wearing it'll be because it's a powder. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now the look is complete. Yes, love this. So happy, so excited. And actually, since we're talking about my everyday makeup bag, I wanted to... I'll go and update you 
on my everyday makeup bag. This is by the brand Cushy. K U K U S S H I. Um, this was actually in a swag bag uh, when I went to a BK Beauty event. They gave me this. And the cool thing about this bag also has this little brush insert. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Let me put my brushes in there. Um, that's going to fall. Okay. It has this little brush holder insert. So you put the flap down to protect your brushes. And then there's a little snap on each side. So it snaps shut. And then on, oh yeah, there it is. On the outside, there's two snaps on both sides. So you can actually snap this into the makeup bag because the makeup bag has little snaps right here. So, and then this is my like super minimal makeup bag. I actually keep it in here as well. So, snap it into there. And then you have all your makeup all your brushes, all in one. This bag is amazing, I will link it below. I've never heard of this brand before until I received this in my swag bag and I am obsessed. I kinda wanna see what other bags they have. Um, if they have like smaller ones, bigger ones. I'm just gonna go directly in there and that's it. So yeah, this is my little makeup bag. So anyway, I thought I'd update y'all. I haven't talked about that. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would highly recommend if you love the MAC eyeshadow formula and you've been wanting to create your own palette, this is a really good option. I love the quality of the actual palette itself. I know there are other companies like the Z palette and ColourPop. I know there's I know there's a bunch out there where you can like create your own little palettes, but just the quality of the MAC palettes is really nice. You could even just buy the empty MAC palette and then put ColourPop eyeshadows in there or NYX eyeshadows or whatever, because um, I know they sell the ColourPop shadows little singles, so you could just pop those in there as well. So if you don't want to spend money on MAC eyeshadows, that would be a really good kind of alternative as well. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.